as the visibility goes, uh, the key here is uh, center post cab that we provided on this machine. The uh, single post is lined with the uh, exhaust stack and the uh, lift cylinder there. And that alignment gives that huge kind of panoramic visibility to the front. We also get some better visibility off of the side. Uh, the lower window lines than what we would have on the D7R. Um, your second question was? The sound. the sound. Obviously you can't because of the noise now, but. The sound advantage comes from, um, the electric drive is, isn't a big enabler for the sound advantage that we're having in both spectator noise and uh, operator noise. We're able to lower the rated speed of the engine that lowers the engine noise the cooling system doesn't have as much heat to reject, and so therefore the uh, cooling system noise is less, and uh, the undercarriage noise is uh, pretty much kind of similar to what we have today on the other tractors. But, but those two areas uh, are enabled by the electric drive, and then we have this unitized cab that gives a, a better uh, overall cab environment and helps lower the change the, the design of the frame itself. You notice this is an integrated frame where if you look at the 7R there's like the hard nose is some separate piece with hard nose pins. Usually over time, especially in applications where people do a lot of tramming or tracking of the tractor, those pins will start to, to wallow out. Um, it's an advantage for a tractor that's a high drive tractor to be able to get in and get that engine. Uh, with our design here we're able to get the engine out a different way by pulling your hood off. Um, if you get around the, to the sides of the tractor here you're going to see a few things that are different. Obviously, this is an, an AccuGrade ready tractor, so on top of the hood, there's the AccuGrade uh, box. That's our AccuGrade ready option that comes on the tractor. If you get inside the engine, you're going to see this single, uh, single plane radiator core. Uh, this is really our next generation core in that we're not stacking these radiator cores anymore. It's just six fins per inch. It's easy to clean it out. We talked earlier today about the different uh, Cores, the separate circuit cores on this side, that's the one that cools the power electronics and the outside of the generators. The middle one has the jacket water, cools the engine, powertrain oil, and then on the other side there's an ATAC. So all of them, like Keith mentioned, are uh, single plane, your evaporator core, or condenser core, I'm sorry, is on the back of the cab because it's all in that self contained um, and if you look on the fan itself, remember that's a hydraulically driven demand fan, it, we have a reversing option. So if someone's in a high degree or waste application, they can have a reversing option as well. The high ambient is really built into this tractor, right? Right. Mike, okay. It's a tier three engine, as we mentioned before. You can see if you look in there, the big gap in there, no belts on the engine. So as we go around the other side, you'll see the electric water pump. Yeah. And um, something that we've hit pretty hard when we've been out in California, obviously Tier 4 is very important for them. We built the tractor with Tier 4 in mind. Now, this, this is not a Tier 4 tractor, but we built it so when we go to Tier 4, all that extra stuff we have space for. I mean, we have the, the hoods ready to go, the cooling is generated ready to go. We have enough space in this envelope to, to make this tractor ready for Tier 4. We just obviously need our, our Tier 4 engine in it. Um, and if, ahead, you, if you look up here in the front, the, the valve is above that radiator the, for the dozer. Um, as we go around to the back, you'll see the ripper valve. That, so the uh, hydraulics are distributed through the tractor. So the dozer valve's at the front, the ripper valve's at the back. That makes it easier. We'll talk about that at the back of the tractor to make it reconfigurable. But also the valve being close to the cylinder adds to the performance of the hydraulic system. Um, you see, if we get down into the, the, the bottom end of the tractor, obviously this is our oval track design undercarriage. We mentioned, we mentioned the final drives. These are a, a heavy final drive. We have some D10 size final drive bearings in here to handle impact loads. This final drive is still serviceable. Obviously, you can, you can pull this open. Uh, you can pull that out quickly, break the track, pick the tractor up a bit. You can pull those final drives off. They're still a planetary final drive. Um, the, final, the roller frame itself, this is a, a, a heavy roller frame with a gas a nitrogen gas uh, recoil that still grease adjusts. But what this gives a, a better ability is that uh, if you have conditions where you, do, you get a lot of packing in your roller frame, uh, down in, I don't know if you get it in Louisiana, uh, guys, but in Texas, in 
some other areas of the country, they have a material that just, it will jam pack this and you can get into areas where your, your recoil could, could get into trouble. This will, will give us some more flexibility to handle